Well, hello and welcome to Style RX. This week, our focus is on denim. We've got some truly incredible denim pieces this season and our third limited release collection, Love Actually. So, um, Hopefully you are not, uh, you've recovered from your food coma from yesterday and you are wide awake and ready because we're going to rock right through here. You've got two different stylists with each of the denim um, or the bottoms actually. And we're going to be talking about our different body types and what we specifically like about each piece. So watch for that. You're going to see um, some that have been with us before and a couple new stylists. So we're excited about this and I'm gonna get right into this. Also, you're gonna notice that we all have on uh, the black replay top from this season. We felt like this was just a fantastic basic that uh, could be in about everybody's closet. So it's a deep V-neck, nice arm coverage and uh, just a really good length. So first up is my absolute favorite jean, the cinch skinny. The cinch skinnies are available in sizes zero through 20. They've got a 31 inch inseam and they're 93% cotton, 6% polyester and 1% spandex, which gives a nice little stretch, but excellent recovery as well. We're calling this mid-weight um, wash the Sutter wash. And you'll kind of see that it is a um, kind of medium denim. It's got just a little bit of whiskering here at the hips, but no abrasion or destruction. Also, it has a two button waistband. And if you are a curvy gal that has been so sad because we discontinued our curvy fit, these are the jeans for you. They're nipped in a little at the waist, a little bit um, fuller through the hip and thigh, and they have fantastic pocket placement. They make your butt look amazing, I guarantee. I also wanted you to see that I have our cute little beast crossbody bag on and I am wearing it as a crossbody, but you can take this chain off, wear, use it as a clutch or Vonda's going to show you how you can use it as a belt bag. So this is a sweet piece for you to add to your list holiday season as well as your shopping list. It's just a little sweet, sweet piece. $99 is going to be fantastic for you. Vonda? Hello, ladies. Can you guys hear me? Yep, you're on. All right. Well, I'm trying to see my Myself, so you guys can see everything. I have on the cinch skinnies and I absolutely love them. They, I concur on everything that Rebecca says. They, and for me, these are like second skin for me. Some people love wearing leggings or a jogger. These I feel like are equally as comfortable, but I love the waistband because it comes up a little bit higher and it nips in and it keeps my waistline honest. And after the amount of turkey I ate yesterday that I'm gonna need a little more honesty with my jeans. So these are gonna stay super close to me. And then to the beast bag, Rebecca had it on as a crossbody. I have it on and um, the super fun, there's this little loop in the very back. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's able to go through our boat loop. You could hold it with your hand if you wanted to hold it as a clutch, but I love that you can put it through our belt and then your hands free. And that is so essential right now, ladies, because you just wanna have your hand sanitizer, probably your lip gloss, and then a few debit cards when you run in and out of the store. Um, I think it's fabulous for myself or of course, anybody on my gift list. So that is the cinch skinny and um, then the beast bag. And I'm gonna throw it to Mariska to see what she has for us. Thank you so much, Vonda. Hey everyone, I'm actually gonna move on to the high skinny. These are my favorite jeans this season. So let me get, show you a nice little leg here. Woo! Yes, I paired them with a fringe boot. I love fringe, uh, which is one of the reasons why I love the Vega scarf, but we'll talk about that in a minute. This has some deconstruction at the knee and it is 
it is stretchy. Now it is a true skinny, which is really awesome, but the stretch really helps, especially the day after Thanksgiving. I noticed a little pooch here. That is okay because we've got some stretch. I can still wear the same size. Super awesome. It comes in vapor wash, which is a nice kind of grayish wash. And I love what I love too about these jeans. And a lot of, you'll notice this in a lot of cabbie denim is I'm gonna lift my leg. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna actually flip it to the camera, but you can probably notice maybe that there are lines right coming in and that helps slim down your leg. That's right. So if you're wearing these skinny jeans it, and you're feeling like, oh, should I Hello. wear them? I feel kind of heavy. That's okay. You've got the lines that kind of bring. Well, yeah, I got in there. In. But, um, oh, fantastic. Have, like, now I'm wearing Mariska, Mariska, yeah. stop, I stop for one second. I need to ask um, Lola if she can hit mute because it's messing up the recording. Lola Jean, do you mind hitting me, please? Everyone, I'm yeah. just going to remind you, we are recording so um, our clients can see this later if they can join us live. So can you please hit mute so that um, it stays on the person that is speaking so that the playback is great? I can't get, um, if whoever's client is Lola Jean, could you please text her and ask her to mute? Okay, sorry, Mariska, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but it was changing the recording. No so problem. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and I can't get her to mute. So um, hopefully uh, she's still talking. Um, I think Amy, if you're the hostess, you should be maybe able to uh, mute her. Let me, let me go to the meeting setting, hold on. Yeah, you should be able to. I didn't realize I was not. Well, I there we go. It's, she's muted now. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you did. Okay. okay. All okay, right. I'll go ahead and mute myself and you can pick back up. All right. Awesome. Yay. So the only thing I was going to actually throw out there is I'm actually wearing the turtleneck this season. So something a little more classic. I love it with these jeans. And of course, I'm loving the Vegas scarf, which is reversible, soft, snuggly, and in a far away it looks like the grape, but it's not. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's houndstooth. Super, super amazing, fantastic gift. All of these fantastic items, the new arrivals are under $100, which is a fantastic price point for gifts for yourself or others. And now I'm gonna pass it over to Jamie. Hi ladies. I'm so excited to be here with you. So I am showing, can you all see me? Thumbs up if you can see me, perfect, okay. I am wearing the high skinny, the same as Mariska. Um, I am a size 10. So I love that they, they look great on all body types. Obviously Mariska is a little smaller than me. So I wanted to show that, you know, you can wear them on all body types. They are a high rise, like she said. I love the destruction. Um, I have them rolled up and with my brand new cute little black boots that I'll have to show you in a minute. And I'm wearing the Vegas scarf, which I'm wearing it more as a wrap. Mariska had it kind of on as a scarf and tied up. I'm wearing it as a wrap because of the coverage on the replay top. It is a little chilly here. So I love that I can use it as a little, little more coverage to, to stay warm. It's really cozy and soft. And that's all I have to say. I'm gonna throw it over to Sorry, I don't remember who's there. Trying to get to the picture. <laughs> hey, Jamie, it's okay. Thank it's you. Amy. Oh, so sorry. Go ahead and mute. No problem. Okay, you guys, we're so excited to have these guest stylists with us here today because they are absolutely amazing and we're so thankful that they could join us. So today I am actually wearing the higher straight. Now, if you don't know anything about the higher straight, this is the highest rise jean that we have this season. So you can see it's hitting me pretty high up all the way into the back. The pocket placement is amazing. I absolutely love this jean. Um, I am wearing it with a little bit of a cuff, but you'll notice from my knee down, it's not tied to the ankle. So that is where this is the straight jean versus the skinny. So it still has the nice slim fit through the thigh, 
but then from the knee down, it's straight. So I like to cuff them. But the other great thing is I feel like they're pretty versatile because I can fold them over and still wear them with an over the knee boot or some kind of boot that needs to be, you know, slim. So they're not too chunky of a pant at the bottom that you can't get away with the same look that you would with a skinny jean. There's a little tiny bit of abrasion through the knee, but not much. So if you really like a clean jean and you're not into destruction, one, the cinch skinny that Rebecca talked about has zero. So that's our cleanest jean um, in the denim color. But this one's a pretty close next match. There's just a tiny bit of scuffing on the knee, not even a full destruction. The other thing that I like about these is I feel like the waist is not cinched in. It gives you lots of room. So I'm a very rectangle shape. I do not have a defined waist. So these fit me amazing. Um, these have the same um, spandex content that the cinch had. It's 93 cotton, 6% um, poly and 1% spandex. So I could do lunges in these. They really hold their shape. And these do run from a zero to a 16. Um, the high skinny that they talked about last group does go up to the size 20 as well. So that one and the cinch are in our extended sizes. Next, and I'm just going to do a brief introduction, is our tender heart necklace. Now our, I'm going to come up close. This is a nice, chunky, sparkly piece. And I can actually even wear this as a belt. Um, but I'm going to let Rebecca talk about it a little bit more. We do want to remind you that your pre-orders for all new arrivals are due by tomorrow. So if you are eyeing any of these pieces, they are due by tomorrow because we start placing orders on Monday. Um, so Rebecca, I am Amy, now going to go, yes. go into more detail on the necklace because that's not one that I have. Oh, okay. I'm going to go into more detail on the necklace then. It is quite sparkly and beautiful, but let me show you how I like to take it as a belt. Now, obviously it will depend on, because there's only one length of it, what your body type is and how you wear it. But I can actually take it and string it around and have this cute little thing hanging here. It's gutsy. So if you don't like heavy on your neck, this may not be the piece for you, but it is absolutely stunning. The other thing that I really like to do with these chunky necklaces, depending on my shirt. So a long statement necklace is great for defining the neck and elongating, but oftentimes I will actually turn it into more of a choker and just switch it around. So I like to hide the little chain and I like to wear it really where you can see it on a V-neck shirt. Okay, I'm gonna now throw it over to Rebecca and she will cover a little more detail on the higher screen. All right, thanks, Amy. And if you are loving the idea of that necklace as a belt, but your waist is a little bit um, thicker than what Amy's is, then take a piece of black satin ribbon and you can actually use that as an extender to make that necklace into a belt. So it's absolutely gonna work for everyone. I, like Amy, have the higher straight on. This is, if you have fallen in love with the high straight that we have had the last few seasons, which probably you have because they're our number one selling jean of all time, these have got an inch and a half higher um, rise. So they are, I have a very long torso and they are right at my belly button, which I never have anything at my belly button. I love these jeans. As Amy said, they do have a straighter fit. So they don't cinch in like the cinch skinnies I talked about earlier. I do have an hourglass waist. So um, you can, or hourglass body type. So you can kind of see I have extra room in the waist of these, whereas the cinches I did not. These are so comfortable, especially after yesterday's Thanksgiving meal. I don't know about you, but I overdid it a little bit. I do want to compare the wash because if you're wondering about um, the denim, the depth of the denim, this is the cinch skinny that I had on before. And then the higher straight is just a little bit uh, lighter. It does have a 31 inch inseam. It's fantastic if you are more petite or even some of my taller clients that have a longer inseam than 31 inches. We just go ahead and cut off the hem and make it a raw edge and it looks completely purposeful. So they retail for $129. They're 
super, super comfortable um, pants. And I am going to send it over to you, Jamie. Hi, ladies. I am so sorry about that last um, time on here. My kids distracted me a little bit. So we're going we're gonna to do a little better this time. I apologize. And I'm so grateful to see all of my cute um, clients on here. I'm so happy you're here. Okay. So I am wearing the slim boyfriend. It is a lower rise, which actually works really well for my body type. I am a kind of a full figured hourglass and I have found that I'm a little fuller through here. Um, I go in, I'm, I'm a smaller here, kind of here at my rib cage but I am fuller here. And so I like the lower rise. I feel like I can, I can get a little more camouflage, you know, blasting out my shirt. Um, so they are a lower rise. They're in the celebrity wash. So they have all of these hand stamp stars on them. I'm gonna see if I could come closer and show you. Maybe the next person, Vonda, will be able to show you that better. So they have hand stamp stars all over them. So you may get, you know, if you and your friend order them together, she, hers may look completely different than yours. Um, they do have a little bit of the whiskering detail. There's no destruction in them. The bottom is more of a, I'll see how high I can get my leg up there. It has the raw hem at the bottom. I like to cuff them up so that I can show off my booty. Um, and I am wearing them I actually have size down in these in a size eight. I'm normally a 10, but they're still kind of a slouchier fit there. The design intent is for them to be more of a slouchy, comfy fit. So go with your true size or you can size down and get them a little tighter as well. And they retail for 139 and they are 93% cotton, 6% polyester, and 1% spandex. So they do have a little bit of stretch in them, but they do hold their shape. So I'm gonna pass it over to Vonda. Hey, Jamie Lynn, did you wanna talk about the Chase oh, Tote really yes. quick, please? I am so sorry. So this is the Chase Tote. It is the same fabric as our bundle scarf. It's really soft and cozy. It has these cute little ties here to close it up, but I like to kind of leave the little tie out because it just adds a little interest to it. And it like, it fits so much in here, you guys. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. You can fit everything in there. So that's our little chase tote. Thank you, Jamie. Didn't want to leave the chase tote out. It's one of my favorite pieces for sure. All right. Okay. So um, I have on the slim boyfriend as well. And I am 5'2. And so I'm a little shorty. So you miss a lot of the fun detail in the bottom of this denim. They have it's a lighter denim on top, and then it has a dark, darker denim on the bottom, and then it's got this nice frayed edge hem. So if you're short like me, not a problem. Just cut it off at the point that you want them to hit your leg and then you're able to fray them just by putting them through the washer and letting them fray out that way. But Jamie talked about the cute little stars on these and I really love these because of all the details that this denim has on it. I am a skinny denim girl, but I have, there's a good picture of the leg but I love this denim because it's all about the details in this denim. And who doesn't want to be the center of attention when you are walking out with your denim? And I love that you could put a loafer with it. You can put a booty with it. I mean, you can put absolutely everything with it. So liking to be center stage. Um, I, this is one of our new arrivals, the heavenly scarf and ladies, it is absolutely, you could almost see how soft it is. And it's got this nice fringe edge all the way around. But what's really special about this wrap is you think it's just this. However, it's actually kind of a doubled up 
So it has a little bit of extra warmth to it. And it, if you, the way you wear it, it's gonna give a different look. And if you've watched Game of Thrones, very, very Game of Thrones. So you definitely feel like your character in that movie. And then I also love it because you can just style it so many different ways. You could put, pin it in the back with a little brooch. You can, see there's the back, super cute, nice and warm. Um, you could pin it in the front with a brooch. You easily can wrap it around you. Um, and I always love belting it. Let me take my belt off really quick and show you guys how you can really, because when you're 5'2", sometimes something like this is a little long. I, you want it to be a little shorter to complement your um, physique and your body type. So if you take a belt and you cinch it up here, of course, I love our stud belt. I am a big cabbie belt fan. And then it just kind of nips me in, gives me a little bit of a waist like this, and then carry it around. And then I'm just ready to go. I'm mother of dragons in this one for sure. So I'm going to kick it off over to Amy, who is also in the heavenly wrap. And she's gonna talk about our button fly skinny. Thanks ladies. Okay, so you're gonna see us go back and forth between the chase tote and the heavenly wrap because we all have different items. So we were trying to pair this. So the first thing I'm talking about are button fly skinny cords. If you have not purchased cabbie cords in the past, you are missing out. They are actually um, a blend of 99% cotton and 1% spandex. So they do hold their shape pretty well. They'll open just a teeny tiny bit, but not enough to get you a saggy bottom or anything, but they feel like pajamas when they're on. Um, you'll notice they're a nice mid-rise. They're not high like the higher straight. The buttons down the detail are so fun and they pair back perfectly to our beast belt or the beast bag that you've been seeing. I do have them just cuffed just a little bit, but this is the softest. I'll just turn so you can see how they fit in the back. This is the softest cord. It almost feels like a stretchy velvet. So it's not the kind of cord that's going to make noise with your thighs as you walk. It's really really yummy and I love this kind of rust color that we have. Now most of the jeans we've been talking about have a 31 inch inseam. There's a few that are a little bit different and Vonda touched on being fun size which is what I call a little more petite. I just want to give you a little hint on the slim boyfriend. You don't necessarily have to cut the bottom off if you love that dipped in um, detail. I have a client that's five feet tall and she took them to a somebody who could do a great alternate um, tailor job. And they actually cut above the die and kept the entire regular hem. So if you find somebody that does alterations really, really well, you can keep the detail of any pant that you get, even if you're fun size. Um, I'm gonna just ask you guys to mute really quick again. It looks like we have Nicole, if you don't mind muting. Um, now, Vonda did a lot of really great style tips with the heavenly wrap. So I'm just gonna show you one thing. Now, keep in mind, I wouldn't wear this. Well, I guess I could wear this with this top goes with everything. So I just wanna show you, I'm going to put on our Highland shirt really quick because this is a very casual, casual piece. And I would typically just wear it like this with maybe the replay top and just a normal pair of jeans. But I just want to show you, I think sometimes when we see these faux fur pieces, we automatically think we have to be dressed to the nines and ready in our holiday outfit. But look how fun this is. It's just a really fun juxtaposition to our Highland shirt. So I'm in a flannel. And I, if you have been watching Style RX in the past few seasons or weeks, you'll know that I've talked about being a denim and lace girl. So I really like to dress down anything dressy, which I'm doing here by adding the flannel to the heavenly wrap. And I really like to dress up super casual pieces. So that's something that you can do with this. Um, not only that, I don't always love wearing coats. So if I'm in a flannel shirt and I have the heavenly wrap on underneath, 
I'm going to be plenty warm in this Utah weather. So I just wanted to throw that out there that this does not have to be a holiday piece. This is wrap up and read your favorite book or maybe just throw it over and go to church, which is probably going to be a little dressier. But I am a jeans girl. So I guarantee you nine times out of 10, I'm going to wear this with a lot more of a casual piece, such as jeans and flannel. Okay, it looks like I'm going to turn it to Mariska. She's going to cover the button fly cord as well as the chase tote, which is our great camo bag. Thank you, Amy. Yeah, I, I'm gonna start with those button flies. Yeah, I, Amy gave you some fantastic details and I do love these pants. Oh my gosh, they're super comfortable. They're super soft. Just a little note, because I didn't mention this before. I'm 5'10", and I am curvier. I'm a size 6, but I'm still curvy. I take, I do boot camp, so lots of squats. I uh, ride the spin trainer, so my bottom half is, is shapely. It's not, I can't fit into very skinny jeans, and I find that they just mold to my body very well. So regardless of, see, that's what that looks like. So give you a, sort of an idea of what the bottom looks like super cute and I put them in with my fabulous fringe um, booties because I love them so much. So as you can see, they kind of mold. This is the mid view here. I just love how they mold to my body rather than having to me sort of conform to the pants. And of course, we're going back to that fantastic chase tote. I love animal prints. I don't know about you, but look how snuggly it is. It's like the happiest snuggly bag ever. I just, I just love it. Now, Jamie did already mention that it is the same as a bundle up scarf. So I actually pulled that bad boy out. I love, I'm kind of matchy matchy. So for those of you who are matchy matchy, look at this. You can totally spice up any outfit with the two of them. This is like a hug on your neck. This is a hug on the side. I actually did this combination up on our trip to Washington. I'm from California and I stayed warm the entire time. Like this is just, oh, so nice and warm and just, you know, cozy. So I love two of them. Of course, you have the bag that is coming out. So you want to get those orders in super quickly, but it is just a cute accent piece that absolutely fits everything. And now I'm going to hand it back over to Jamie for the carpenters. Okay, so I have on the carpenter. They are in a deep plum color. Um, some people are a little worried to wear the dark with the dark, but I love them paired with black. Um, I feel like they can be dressed up. They are kind of more of a, um, you know, with the little carpenter loop and everything. Everyone thinks that they need to be more of a casual piece, but I have thrown them on with my great booty, um, the, the replay top. I feel like you can dress them up a little bit. I've got my um, stud belt on as well. These are a little bit, they're kind of more of a mid to low rise. Um, they are below my belly button by about two inches. Um, they are, I think they're a 31 inch inseam. Rebecca, do you know? Yes, 31 inch inseam. So they are kind of, um, they are a little shorter on me. Um, I'm not a tall person, I'm 5'5", five five, but the length that I do have is in my legs but I still cuff them up and I like them to be just at the top of the booty that I'm wearing. So this is kind of how they look in the back. They're very um, form fitted, kind of a, um, they have a great fit. They're really stretchy and super comfortable. And I know you'll love them. They are, they have 3% spandex in them. So they are a lot um, more stretchy. So I'm going to toss it back over to Rebecca, I think. Is it Rebecca? I'll hop on here quick um, because I want to share a couple little tips on the Vega scarf and then Vonda is going to share about the carpenter as well. But I know Mariska had this looped around her neck. Jamie had it kind of caped on her shoulders. I wanted to show you a couple different ways to wear it because I feel like this is just such a fantastic piece to have um, and to give. So don't miss out on it. Great price point at $59. But when I wear my scarves, so you probably in the past have taken it, folded it in half and looped it around your neck and just kind of pulled through like this. Something I like to do is instead of 
doing it directly in half, I kind of leave one of the tails a little bit longer and I pull it around and take the shorter end through the loop, then twist your loop and then take the longer end through there and it leaves it just a little bit more polished up here by your neck and so especially if you don't have a giraffe neck like i do and you don't need things up over your chin this might be a better option for you on this scarf it is 100 percent acrylic so if you have any sensitivities to that which i only have one client out of several hundred that does but just know that uh, the other thing is um, it's it's just super, super soft. So it is acrylic, super soft, very warm. Vonda, let's hear about those carpenters. Ah, thanks so much, Rebecca. What a cute way to wrap that scarf. I always like a good way to wrap the scarf. Yeah, I love this deep plum color. Um, I'm only 5'2", and my I'm opposite of Jamie Lynn. I do not carry my height in my legs at all. So I did have to cuff them a little bit. Um, but they are so soft and they are so stretchy and comfortable. They've got this wonderful give, but they won't bag out. And just this beautiful pop of um, deep blue. These are down a size from my normal size. Um, so I probably would go up, especially after eating yesterday, but um, they're so comfortable and stretchy and they just pair back. It's such a great neutral. A lot of people think I have to wear black, I have to wear gray or maybe brown. I think the deep plum is such a beautiful color to pair back and they look beautiful. And um, if you're running around errands with this beautiful heavenly scarf, I mean, that gray just pops against the um, blue or, or the purple deep plum of it. I don't know what color I'm wearing, um, but it's just comfortable. And I love the pockets here in the front. They've got double pockets. So again, hands-free, if you're not gonna have that beast bag um, crossbody on your belt, um, you could throw your debit cards here in the front or, no, no, there's no side pocket, or in the back. And they're just super comfortable and just a fun color to add to your wardrobe. So I am going to kick it over to Amy, who's going to talk to you about our beautiful skinny, the skinny jean. Okay, I just wanted to show you, because I am a casual girl, um, and I just talked about the heavenly wrap, I now have it with black on black. I've broken this up with our vintage zebra belt, I have the tender heart necklace and the heavenly wrap with some cute little zebra shoes. So Please do not feel like I'm saying I wouldn't wear it dressy, but this is about as dressy as I would get. Um, and I honestly, this does have a little acrylic in it as well, I failed to mention, but I do not find it itchy at all. And I am not, I am fairly sensitive to itch. So I just wanted to show you this, how I would dress up this black on black. Now, I am also, um, I love, love, love a base column. So this that I'm wearing, the replay top and our, it's called the skinny, which is our black jean, is an ex huge, huge column that I love. And these jeans are incredible. So you'll notice I am in the replay top and it's a little blousey. And then this is a skinny jean. And I just want to throw back a reminder to keep your proportions in sync. So if you are wearing blousey on top, wear thinner and more structured on the bottom and vice versa, um, especially when you're wearing a column or maybe a print, anything, just keep your proportions in line. This skinny is a little bit lower rise. It's, I would call it a, I don't have a waist. I'm a very short torso. So almost everything is, um, but it does hit me just above the hip. And it's phenomenal. I love the yoke in the back of this and the way they fit through the bottom. This is a true skinny jean. And I actually have a long leg and the 31 inch inseam is really great on me. I always like my jeans cuffed about an inch above the ankle anyway. Um, and I am 5'6". I haven't mentioned my size because I wanted to talk about it in this group. So everything you've seen me in has been a true cabbie size two. This skinny jean, however, is a size four, and I feel like it hits me like a uh, fits me like a glove. Now, I haven't worn the black jean yet, 
too much. So I'm going to be interested to see if Jamie feels like it opens up at all. If it does, I would probably stick with my normal size too. I like to wear black further into, I'm such a denim girl that I really do feel like black is dressing up for me. So these are what I, because I don't wear them often, I do love them though. In fact, they are so, so stretchy. So I absolutely love them. They come in the zero to 16. Um, the content on them is the nine, so there's 91% cotton, 7% polyester and 2% spandex. Um, another little tip for you, you can set the dark by, I believe washing them in vinegar and it'll help the black stay black. So I, we are done with new arrivals. I'm gonna kick this over to Jamie. She's our last group and then she'll kick it back over to me to say thank you and give you the announcement for next week. So Jamie, do you wanna finish us off here? Yes. So the skinny is my very favorite jean on the line this season. I adore these jeans. So they are, a, they're a lower rise for me. They hit me right at my hip bone. So, um, like I said, I really think just the lower rise just works better for my body. So that is why my, they're my favorite. You, as you can tell, I have not set them. <laughs> so they have, um, faded just a little bit, but I'm okay with that. If you, if you don't like them fading, um, I was actually going to mention that too. If you talk to any of your, or to your stylist, they have a recipe that you can actually, um, set your color of your jeans, but I really like them kind of washed out, faded out. They are a true skinny. Um, and again, they're my favorite jean. They, they stretch really well. I feel great in them. They fit like a glove and I am wearing my true size in a size 10. They do open up a smidge, Amy, but not much. So I love them. They're my favorite. So I'm going to pass it back to Amy. Okay. Thank you so much. So what we're going to do now, you guys go ahead and unmute. We're going to give you a few minutes for questions and answers. You can direct it to any one of us in particular, or just a general question. And we'll do questions for about five minutes. If you guys have anything on a particular gene or on a new arrival piece, we'll go ahead and cover that. And then I will throw us out for our introduction for next week. Um, so we're gonna open it up to you guys. Go ahead and unmute and ask away. While everybody's being quiet, I was gonna just say the carpenter jean that is in that deep plum color is just a gorgeous neutral for fall because it coordinates in so beautifully with all the mustards and the coppers and the deep browns and of course, black and gray. But really it's it's a complete neutral. And if you have loved our um, the, what is it? The scout that we've had before, they're very similar to that. I agree, Rebecca, they're awesome. And as far as the um, setting the wash, the vinegar salt wash is really for blue denim. It's not for black in particular. Um, so you can set the dye on any dark wash by doing equal parts vinegar, salt, and then you soak them for several hours in a like a warm pail of water. And then you will want to wash them inside out on cold and hang dry. Now for black in particular, um, I believe it's just vinegar only. So we can, you can Google it too, if you need to, but there are different instructions per the denim. Any questions you guys on fit fabrication? I have to say hi to Rocky really quick because um, she's Jamie's client, but when I was in college, my roommate, her name was Jody Maxfield, and I actually worked with Rocky at um, the nursing home on 14th North in Logan for a while. She was our head nurse, charge nurse, and I was a CNA, and we worked the Alzheimer's unit. So hi, Rocky. <laughs> and I know her, I know her brother, Jason, and her sister-in-law, Annie. She worked with me there, too, so. I knew you looked familiar. I couldn't figure out why. I kept telling Jamie, I think I know her. <laughs> well, it has been like 25 years. Yeah. So it you seems know. like a past life. <laughs> yes. 
those were good times. <laughs> yes, they are. Tell Annie I said hi. I will. I will. I'll I, tell her. I, do you remember, um, oh, what was her name? She used to wander down the halls and say she was discombobulated. Oh, all of yeah. <laughs> Ardella. Oh, it was Ardella. I yes. will never forget. Ardella and then Rose that would give us little kisses and she was always oh, still asleep. She would give you kisses. Yeah. Those were wonderful times. I love taking care of the elderly. Now I teach school. I like Swift. I like. Oh, wow. Would you to the best second grade teacher ever <laughs> on the planet? Oh, that's Jamie, cool. that's so she, sweet. She truly taught my Jojo so much. She progressed so yeah. much in the class. So. That is very kind, but I do. Ed, those were good times. That's I'll awesome. let Annie know you said hi. Yes, please do, because I don't think I've talked to her since I moved away from Logan, so it's been a long time. I will. I'm fact, wondering. I might have to have Jamie give you, have you give me her phone number, and I'll say hi, but that's enough on that. Let's, let's hurry and <laughs> get questions. <laughs> I, you, but you're all wearing the same black shirt and it hits you all so differently. The V I want to know how deep it is, or if you're, if you're wearing something underneath, is it see-through? It is um, not so see-through, but it is a very deep, deep V. Yeah. I yeah. Have on, I have on a cami underneath. This is where the V goes to. It's like right in between my breasts. So it's pretty deep. Oh, it is. I can see. Yeah. Uh, now you're all, yeah. Hmm. I have yeah. a low, my, my chest is fairly low. And so our deep V's that we've been doing the last couple of seasons work well for me because it, it really kind of elongates and lifts a little bit, but the majority of my clients need to wear a cami with this. Otherwise it shows a little more than we need to show. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, I have had a client return it for that reason. Cause she gets hot. So she didn't want a cami underneath it so it goes back to your comfort level what style you know what your lifestyle is what your office is going to be like I don't personally wear a cami um but I will put a scarf or something you know like I have ways of getting around it or you can even do a little pin so if you want to just tack it you could do that get double st sticky tape or something it's so the most flattering top on the line as far as I'm concerned. Beautiful. I love it. And then the scarf with the stars on it, is that navy blue or black? Black and or white. Black. It's hound Rocky, Black and yeah, white. Yeah, it actually looks really cute back to those houndstooth trousers or the anything oh, houndstooth on the line okay. like the skirt. That is and so it's more of a it's more of a real red. Everybody's been asking about the tone of red. It's not a blue red like our Spencer jacket. It's more of a true cherry red. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would definitely say it's a cool red versus a warm red. Yeah. Oh yeah, comparison. I that because that's the jacket I was gonna compare to. It. Oh, I see. It's much brighter. Yeah. More orange red. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, are there any other questions? I have a question, but it doesn't have to do with uh, something that you've shown us. So if someone else has a question, I'll ask later. Go ahead and ask. Okay. We're here for you. I have a, a turtleneck and I'm trying to find it. Um, Is it the white one or yeah. the black one? It's, a, it's white. Is the it the Eve one, one from a new arrival? Yeah, yes. It's not in there. <laughs> it's not in here? No. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does anybody have that one? Yes. What's your question? That's it. That's it. Okay. The lines, the lines when I'm wearing it, I feel like it's pretty boxy. I'm wondering if someone can show me how to style that with... Uh, like, do you wear, like you, you were saying, Amy, about wearing full on top and tighter on the bottom. I, it's, I can't figure out what to do with that. If I should wear a belt with it or tuck it in. So or a, it. I, a great I thing. Have a couple. Oh, go ahead, Rebecca. Tuck, side tuck. And with the East Turtle Neck, you've even got extra room. So um, I would take, if you take a corner of that, and pull it through your belt loop, pull it through your belt loop like that, and then tuck the extra in, then 
the ease would still, I mean, it would still be kind of okay. um, loose at the bottom and yeah. kind of flowing, but yet it takes that excess out. So those are a few of the things And I know. Amy, are you gonna show her how you tie it? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you a couple things. There's, there's one fun trick with a hair elastic that maybe you guys don't know. And this also works for chiffon tops, which some of the belt loop pulls and stuff don't work for chiffon tops. So you can pick a spot, maybe you want it pulled in on the side and pick right where you want it to be, point your finger, and then you lift the fabric up and you're gonna gather just a little teeny tiny bit and just do a little tiny elastic around it just lightly. And then when you drape it down, whoops, I got the tie in there. You can adjust and it makes this cute, cute little gather from the inside and also kind of pulls things off to the side. Sometimes I'll do it in the middle, like right at the sternum so that it creates the line here. So that's one way on a super, super boxy knit that's totally different. Um, the other thing is that belt loop pull that I'm sure you've seen where you take it from the corner and just give it a little tug and then tuck it down. That's a really fun way to do that as well because it will pull in some of that fabric, but then you still have that coverage. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the belt loop pull is absolutely probably my favorite trick because I'm all about ease and comfort. And if I struggle to go to the bathroom, I am going to die. So yeah. I want something that I don't have to think too hard. I want to just make it super easy and I want it tailor friendly. And a lot of us are at that age. We don't feel like we want to do a big, like high school knot. Right. And so that belt loop pull is like a more mature version of that. But I also love the elastic from the underside because it's hidden and it's some way that you really don't actually see it. Does that make sense? Mm hmm I can see you have it on, Jamie, because I can see the shoulder. There's a line right here. That's yep. what I can see. It's up at the above my chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So I just do just... a front tuck. I just do a front tuck and leave it down. But for okay. you, I don't know if you've ever done a side tuck, if I've ever seen you do that, but you could do a side tuck and it would be darling. If I do a side tuck, it doesn't work as well. I love the camouflage for me here. Mm hmm but it does take some of the boxiness away by just doing the front tuck. Do I have those pants? I think I, I have those pants. <laughs> are, they, are they the plum pants? No, yeah. these are the skinnies. Oh no, I don't have those yet. That looks good with, cause it looks like you paired it with a tight and it looks yeah. like. Yep. Just like Amy okay. said, you know, wearing the, the blouse here with the skinnies, more of a, a skinnier okay. structured bottom. Okay, I just couldn't figure out if my body didn't fit in that shirt, like the way that it was fit, but I can see just the way you're wearing it. it lounge pants. You're your um, lounger. Yeah. Rocky. Okay. Yeah. Rocky. Rebecca and I did um, a whole style RX on proportions. So if you want the link, ask Jamie for it and I'll send her the link and you can watch it. And we really cover how to create shape with different pieces. So we'd be happy to send that out. To I you. would love that. Okay, thank so, you. I'll mute. I'm sorry. I had too many no, questions. No, we love it. That, that's why we're here. So are there any other questions on new arrivals or anything? If there is, hurry and wave your hand and I'll stay here for a minute. I'm looking sideways because I have a computer with the gallery and this is my recording, just so you know. Um, but I think we'll go ahead and wrap this up. If you guys are new with us this, this week, um, StyleRx is something that Rebecca and I have been doing every Friday morning at 11 Mountain, 12 central, 10 Pacific. I'm horrible at time zones. And we really try and cover every topic out there. So next week, um, Rebecca and I are going to cover casual holiday outfits. And I think we all know after Thanksgiving, that is a much needed thing. Um, so, so fun. Just another quick reminder, all new arrival pre-orders are due by tomorrow. Um, you do not want to be last on the priority and most of us as stylists, in fact, I believe all of us, we really put first come first serve as priority. You are the ones that are going to get the pieces if they're available. So do not wait to order those. And we, a couple other reminders, we are still in our holiday return exchange period. So if you're thinking about gifts for 
a loved one or yourself so that you can help your husband out. Um, you do have until January 31st to return or exchange any item. And we are getting into our free shipping period as well. So free shipping, you guys. Happy holidays, right? We love that. I know it's only $7, but it's $7. Right now is a lot. So we love the free shipping. And we just want to thank our guest stylist today, Jamie, Mariska, and Vonda. They did such a great job. And if you guys are finding value in these videos, please let us know because Rebecca and I are going to carry this forward all through the spring and keep going every single week. So you guys are always welcome to join. And I know Jamie will be back and I'm sure Mariska and Vonda will be as well. So thank you for tuning in. We love you guys. And thank you for spending the morning with us. Thank you, ladies.